tell all the boys no Makes you feel good, yeah I know you're out of my league But that do anything for you Remember that, Patrick <laughs> Caroline asked me to say that bit <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm reminded of a, uh, a monk, actually, Thomas Merton, who said these words. He said, love is our true destiny. We do not find the meaning of life by ourselves alone. We find it with another. And that is exactly what the two of you have done. You have found that meaning not in your own being, in your own space, but because you were brave enough to take the risk to open yourself to the other and welcome, vulnerably, welcome the other into your life, into your space. Thank you for doing that. It gives the rest of us hope that our lives too may be blessed with that gift of love. All right, so now, uh, with that little bit of an introduction, I was worried a little bit about light here. Somebody said to me, Ach, you can use your, your smartphone. I said, what's that? <laughs> so there we go. Um, and uh, I was asked to, no, well, I wasn't asked. I said I would do a bit of a reading. And... Um, and Patrick has said, said to me, maybe you can do something that will reflect a little bit about of who we are. Something that is real, that is grounded in our journey maybe. And perhaps the rest of us can recognize and maybe even resonate with what they are about. And maybe what I'm about to read as well. And I can imagine them saying this to one another. Because I have found that one person in a million, that one person who I love to the depth of my being and loves me more, because I have found that soulmate who understands me better than I understand myself, who can anticipate nearly always my intricate moods and either join the party or pass the tissues. Why marriage? Because I want the whole world to know that we have found each other. That the search that drives me out of bed each morning through floods of heartaches, sorrows and pain can have an end. There will still be heartaches, sorrows and pain, but now I have someone to share them with. Why marriage? Because I know that from now on, we will not always be the vision of loveliness that we are today. I might be less than perfect. You might be the housemate from hell. So I want that thread of hope and promise that binds us together to keep my love tethered until storms depart. I know that love is not something you can build a wall around, something that you can fence in and guard. Love is a butterfly which constantly flies towards the light. And when a gust should blow our love, of course, I want our marriage to be the solid candle that burns brightest and steady. Marriage is my declaration of commitment and my hope to grow old with the one I love. The one I can no longer imagine life without. The one with whom I want to share a smile and in that smile say a hundred years of shared memories someone whose arms will never tire if they are around me and this is I think so pointing towards you I want all that went before to be considered waiting waiting for the fates to drive us together I want the time we spent together outside marriage to be the time we built and tested our relationship and now fully proven we move forward. Why marriage? 
because I want the world to see that we have become one. A union bound by our love and the love of our friends, all encompassing and most of all, because we want to. Well, folks, I don't know how much you know of these two, how much you know of them separately, individually, or together. Um, you know, they first met 12 years ago when they were shifting contraband in Angola. <laughs> <laughs> um, and their journeys went here and there and everywhere <coughs> there was a line here about perfection you know people who have a list my man or my woman must be just so tick these boxes oy vey are you going to be sorely disappointed It's like somebody who going on a journey from A to B and their only focus is on B, the end of the journey. Again, you're crazy. Because B might never come. The end of that journey that you plan might never come. And so what is so important, as you have done, Jan, you've chosen this place because it is lack of it is real and it's affordable <laughs> you have chosen this place I said because it is real and I have a feeling in my gut that your relationship is real perfection doesn't exist and anybody who wants things to be perfect they are actually afraid they are fearful when I have a couple and the bride or the groom or both of them are very anal, they want everything planned down to the last detail, I say, okay, okay, so at 5.37 and a half, we'll be actually doing the rings. And, <laughs> and, go, and I go through it all with them over two hours, step by step. And as they're walking out the door, I say, oh, by the way, you do realize that on the day itself, I'm likely to change everything. <laughs> and the horror on their faces <laughs> far better to be real and what do i mean by that be present now in this moment too many of us live painfully in the past do you know what so and so did to me 30 years ago i will never forget as the french quebecans had on the bottom of the number plates of their cars we will never forget what a sad way to live in a moment that doesn't exist anymore or fearfully in the future what will the future bring have I planned enough have I saved enough uh, well, what will happen it's good to plan it's good to learn from the past but it is far better to live in the present live now with all your imperfections and the fact that you are together means that you actually smart one another you like one another for you Caroline and what it means is is that you have accepted not only the wonderful and great things that make you tingle about each other but also those things that push your buttons in a not too good a way <laughs> and you embrace it <laughs> fully with who you are and so I finish with the thoughts what I read there I think was enough and my little bit of a thing there about living in the present moment is the most important because in this moment I'm not in an egotistical space. I cannot be in an egotistical space and be present. They are mutually exclusive. And so therefore I say, why marriage? Because I want the world to see that we have become one.
a union bound by our love and the love of our friends, all encompassing, and most of all, because we want to. All right, so now that's the preek over and done with. We now, I suppose, come to the more formal side of things. Um, I want to, first of all, ask him a couple of questions uh, about your intention um, of marriage. And uh, so, therefore, I ask you, Patrick and Caroline. Let me ask you first, Patrick. In accepting Caroline as your beloved, will you continue to care for her, nurture her, and to love her, will you? Caroline, in accepting Patrick as your beloved, will you continue to care for him, nurture him, and to love him, will you? And you both promise to continue to take the necessary steps in your personal life so that your relationship may, at least most of the time, be a harmonious one, will you? Okay. I want to ask your families and friends a question. Do you, families and friends of these two, give them your love and support this day, do you? Yes. 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 Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Yes. All right. Something we don't realize in South Africa when we have a wedding ceremony, we don't realize a couple actually get married twice. Okay, two marriages that take place. They're both real, they're both important. Uh, at best, they complement one another. Uh, in Europe, for example, the two are never done together. And of course, I refer to the legal marriage, which is just that, a legal contract between two people and the government and their legal implications. It is as sterile as that. Okay? And then there's the wedding ceremony, which is the moral, the spiritual marriage, which is everything to do with their love for each other, their connection with all of you, and their lives unfolding into the future. So let's do the legal one first and get it over and done with. <laughs> Therefore, I ask you, Patrick Gonzalez, do you declare that as far as you know, there's no lawful impediment? To your proposed marriage with Caroline Shea uh, presence, and that you call in all your gathered to witness that you take Caroline as your lawful wife. Do you? I do. Caroline Shea, do you declare that as far as you know, there's no lawful impediment to your proposed marriage with Patrick Gonzalez here present, and that you call in all your gathered to witness that you take Patrick as your lawful husband. Do you? Yeah, folks, it's a legal marriage over and done with, okay? Once a couple answer, I do, in answer to the legal question in front of witnesses and the marriage officer, they're legally married. Afterwards, we'll sign the register as a written record of those I do's. Okay, so they're legally married. But they haven't, but they haven't yet married one another. Not morally, not spiritually, not really. And this is what today is all about. Us witnessing them doing just that. So turn around, face each other. Get yourselves a little bit more square on that carpet. There we go. Okay, lovely. Patrick, as you take Caroline's hands in yours. And in this sacred space, um, I ask you to declare your consent and marry your beautiful bride, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> I call upon these people present to witness. I call upon these people present to witness. That I, Patrick, take you, Caroline. That I, Patrick, take you, Caroline. To be my wife. To be my wife. To share with you a relationship of love. To share with you a relationship of love. Of tenderness and of love. Of tenderness and of laughter. I will stand by you. <laughs> I will stand by you. I will stand by you. Through all our tomorrows. Through all our tomorrows. Respecting you as a person. Respecting you as a person. Your individuality. Your individuality. Your needs and changes. Your needs and changes. Moreover, enjoy your love. Moreover, enjoy your love. For as long as we live. For as long as we live. Right. Separate your hands, please. Uh, <laughs> separate your hands. Okay, Caroline, please take Patrick's hands in yours. I can't say all of that. <laughs> I call upon these people present. I call upon these people present. To witness. To witness. That I, Caroline. That I, Caroline. Take you, Patrick. Take you, Patrick. To be my husband. To be my husband. To share with you. To share with you. A relationship of love. A relationship of love. 
of tenderness and of laughter. I will stand by you through all our tomorrows. Through all our tomorrows. Respecting you as a person, your individuality, your needs and changes. Moreover, enjoy your love. For as long as we live. You see, Caroline, you did it perfect. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I declare that Caroline and Patrick have indeed married one another here today in our presence. They have declared their consent by exchanging vows. Give them another lack of love. Um, I believe that uh, Roberto, Robert has the rings, have you? Okay, you can open up that beautiful bowl. I'm going to bless these rings with water, okay? Now, do you want uh, her to come up, Chiara? Come, Chiara. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. Or no, hang on, just stand here by Robert, and uh, you can also hold it there. There we go, there we go, okay. I'm going to bless these rings with water. Water, we know, is the symbol of life that we give one another. But for us on planet Earth, we know it is more than a mere symbol. Water is the very essence of life. Without it, we would not be here. The beauty of our planet would not exist. So as you tap into that ancient source of life, may you continue to give each other life and love. And so I bless these rings with peace. I bless them with joy. And I bless them with life and with love. And one for the big ring bearer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kiara? And let Patrick take my ring there. All right, stand back over here. Take uh, Caroline's left hand, repeat after me. Caroline, take this ring. Caroline, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And of my commitment to and you. And of my commitment to you. Put it on. Can I put it on? <laughs> All right, Kira. Let mommy take the other one. There you go. Okay. Patrick, take this ring. Patrick, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And of my commitment to you. And of my commitment to you. Right, perfect. Now, folks, we cannot restrain them any longer. <laughs> Let's allow them to give each other the first kiss of their married ones. Now, finally, you'll be pleased to know after this hour and a half of this ceremony, <laughs> um, we have a final blessing. After the blessing, we're going to ask some of our, our uh, best men to bring that table in over here so we can sign the register. Uh, we've already signed the other forms and taken the thumbprints and all of that. Um, and this is part of an Apache blessing. Um, and it goes like this. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries and the breeze blow new strength into your being. And all the days of your lives, may you walk gently through the world and know its beauty. Amen. 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 Right, folks. Table, please. There's a place I go to when no one knows me It's not lonely, it's a necessary thing It's a place I'm made of, 
find out what I made of the nights I've stayed of, counting stars and fighting sleep. Let it wash over me. I'm ready to lose my feet. Take me off to the place where one reviews life's mystery. Steady on down the line, lose every sense of time. Take it all in and wake up that small part of me. Day to day, I'm blind to see and find how far to go. Everybody got the reason. Everybody got the way. We're just catching it. You guys run the bar there? Let me put Patty on. Patty, can we have you and you and your gorgeous wife in the center, please? I'll be married for like 35 minutes, I'll keep it easier. Yeah, it starts. Can we all come through to the center court here, please? You guys sitting around the bar? We can start the formalities. Anywhere you want to be, buddy. In front. Okay, so you know that, um, hello? Quiet, please. Attention, attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. You know you're at a multicultural wedding when the groom is from Venezuela, who's marrying a Swiss in a Greek restaurant by a South African in Cape Town. I'm surprised Derek Watts and his team from Carte Blanche aren't here. So let me just say something to you. Um, this beautiful. Swiss African queen. We have traditions here. Okay? And you're entitled to your Lapola. Don't even get away with it. He'll tell you later. Jabu. <laughs> Jabu. God bless Jabu. If I look around in the room, there are many familiar faces, some old, or should we just keep it familiar? Familiar is good. And some new. What I can say is there is a lot of history in this room, and with history comes depth. And Patrick and Carol just wanted me to express how important it is to them for you guys to share this auspicious occasion with them and how much it means to them. So thank you for all being able to be here to share this with them. And also afterwards, because we're so tight, we'll be putting the bowl in the middle of the floor. With your car keys, okay? Whoa! We're going back to the 70s. Patty's smiling. Okay, because when it comes, when it becomes the, the Swiss... Well, I don't even want to say it. When he, when he becomes an official Swiss, um, all of us and our offshore accounts will... Please give me an hour right now, he's like... Cool, I don't have to work anymore. But, uh, sorry, it's me and Robbie. You're gonna work. You're gonna have work maybe five days. I just need to run through some of the notices here. Uh, there is uh, champagne on the tables, but there's also a cash bar for the rest of us individuals. Yeah, because you drink too much. Huh? Maybe. maybe. Why? Are we, why are we still sober? To prevent us from having fisticuffs with the DJ or the bouncer. Um, please be forewarned. The music will be. Or for 12, eh? Sure, sh we, sh we are in a built up area. Guys, so, so, so I know I've been to parties before where we haven't warned the people, and then 12, the party just gets going, and they switch your music off. All right, so just be forewarned that this, this is a possibility. Okay? There are no plates. I know we're in a Greek restaurant. There are no plates to be broken. Please stay away from Corianne and George, and Spiros is bone time. Because if you do break any of their bones, China, they're going to break your bones, China. 
Okay, um, which reminds me of a couple that bought their new baby home. My wife suggested to her. We should, we should try this changing of the diaper thing. So he said, I'm busy. I'll do the next one. The next one came around and she asked, she asked the husband, uh, what about this one? So he looked a little bit puzzled and he said, uh, I didn't mean the next up, I meant the next child. <laughs> okay, so from, with no further ado, I'd like to call up Robbie, the best man, a long-time friend of Paddy, to come and say a couple of words, please. Thank you. We can't see you. Okay. We will. An hour. An hour. Yes. Greetings and salutations on this momentous and happy occasion. I'm Robbie Stammers. While writing this speech last night, I admit I had to use my phone calculator to uh, work out the pleasure or the pain of being Patrick's mate since 1992. So 26 years is a very long time. I'm not going to focus on it much just yet. Um, I'd love to start by talking about the gorgeous bride today. From the moment I met her, I knew that she had his number. <laughs> and uh, so I went online last night and I went onto the interweb. And I love the urban dictionary description of Carol. And this is proper verbatim copy paste. Carol is a beautiful dark haired girl who has an infectious personality. Her friends think she's wonderful and her only enemies are those who are jealous of her. She's smart, talented, and is the funniest person you will ever meet. If you show her this definition, she will undoubtedly refute it because she's also very modest. A girl who is very funny, caring, extremely intelligent, talented, and not to mention absolutely beautiful. In short, she's just perfect. I'll copy this for you then. A Carol will get along with nearly anyone and always knows what to say to cheer you up. She's a great friend and would never ever betray you. She will care for you no matter what. The name Carol translates to song of happiness. Carol is the kind of girl once you meet her she will always be in your heart. This is my favorite part of it in the end. A Carol is a short, fiery female <laughs> and has ex is extraordinarily good at busting a guy's balls if you break her heart. I didn't make this up, I swear to God, it's on the internet. You can search it. Now, that is one of the many, many things we loved about Carol from the word go. Um, as Father Patrick had said, they've uh, had it started off with a big friendship for many, many years in Angola. So, gratefully, there's no way Carol doesn't know the Paddy we know and love. <laughs> she does, and as her urban dictionary description points out, she will care for you no matter what. But if you break her heart, she will bust your balls. <laughs> the best you keep that in mind, Vaughan. Your mom said the same thing to me earlier. <laughs> Thanks, mom. She also speaks six languages fluently. And now she can add a seventh. Gonzalo Shatterish. <laughs> Especially the last one. On to Patrick. You know, you, they say you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Well, this is how Grant and I and many of the others feel about Paddy. Family isn't always blood. It's the people in your life you want in theirs. The ones who accept you for who you are. The ones who you would do anything to see you smile and you love no matter what. So we are very thankful to have you as a mate. Patrick Gonzalez. Yeah, here we go. What can one say? <laughs> There's not enough time to tell everyone here all the adventures, the misadventures. He arrived in the UK at one stage. We bullshitted the NHS. <laughs> Or he had lead poisoning, he went and had a procedure as Robbie Stammers. <laughs> <laughs> All the laughs, the tears we've had, there's too many to mention. But when you know somebody so well and vice versa, after all those years, months, days and many nights, you get to know very few special, very few special people so well. And I would never trade that for anything. According to the Collins Dictionary, if you describe someone or accept them warts and all, 
You accept them as they are, including all their faults, bad as well as good, including the bad features or aspects along with all the great. This is our crew personified in our mates. We just get each other's warts and all. I watch Carol and Patty together, and it makes me smile as I think they have that understanding too. Although obviously all the warts are on Patty and Carol's got the all. <laughs> so, back to our boys crew. Being family for so many years, one poet said, good friends are like stars. You don't see them all the time, but you know they're always there. In our group, <laughs> or family tree of friends, it might seem we have a family tree, but really what we have is a cactus of pricks. <laughs> but come hell or high water, we love each other and we love Paddy. He's the epitome of a true proper friend. We would die for him and he would die for us. We know, <laughs> most of us know, who have had him around for so many decades. We've had to restrain him a few times if other people have dissed me or any of the other closest. Paddy is the most loyal backer who always believes in his tribe. And he still thinks he's an amazing dancer as well. That's <laughs> so sweet. 26 years later in Watts and All, we know each other like bruddy, uh, brothers. So Paddy, anytime, anywhere, any place, I'm there for you. Anytime was just the other day when my 19 year old came home thinking he was the bomb with some chick and found us talking shit in the kitchen at 6 a.m. saying, what the fuck, Dad, Paddy? <laughs> any place is fantastic now that you're in Switzerland. I look forward to coming there. It's just pop over to France and Italy. I can't wait for those day trips. <laughs> And any place, just like in the old days when we were young, if you need to puke, I promise to hold your hair back. <laughs> At the end of it all, I'm there for you and you're there for me. And if shit really, truly went down, and I could not get hold of Grant, George, Jeremy, Dwayne, Ryan, Keith, Tony, Uncle Oswald, or John the Gardener, then I would call you, Tony. <laughs> On a more sincere note, there's something about brothers. Don't call me brother unless you know the meaning. Don't call me brother unless we are brothers. Just because we might have things in common doesn't mean we are brothers from another mother. Brothers have simple rules to live by. We don't lie or steal from a brother. We will never leave a brother behind. We constantly watch out for each other. If I know you have my back, rest assured, I will always, always have yours. Call upon any time that you might be in need, I will come even if I have to bust through locked doors. I will never mess with your lady or your family, they will be as safe as they are mine own. I will fight for you or even give up my own life, there is no greater love to be known. Those that say you can't choose family don't understand the meaning of brotherhood. I choose to call you my brother for life, through the bad and the good. And just on closing, I just want to say on Carol and Patty from, uh, I thought it uh, just seemed so apt because they started off with friendship and that always seems to be the best thing. Marry your best friend, I do not say that lightly. Really, truly, find the strongest, happiest friendship in the person you fall in love with. Someone who speaks highly of you, someone you can laugh with, the kind of laughs that make your belly ache and your nose snort. The embarrassing, earnest, healing kind of laughs. Life is too short not to love somebody who lets you be a fool with them. Make sure they are somebody who lets you cry too. Despair will come. Find someone that you want to be there with you through those times. Most importantly, marry the one that makes passion, love, and madness combine and cause through you. Uh, I'm going to just read out some messages, but I also want to uh, give Carol a... a a surprise that uh, she doesn't know about at the end of this evening. You are going to be going to the Five Star Tinswala Atlantic. One and uh, a half hours Co. drive. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is the most spectacular place just on Chapman's Peak. Thank you, Robbie. And I, I, I can't wait for us to be spending that evening together. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a message as well. That's one. 
Dear Gonzo and Carol, we will miss being there with you today as you celebrate with friends and family, but we wish you nothing but love, joy and happiness as you begin on this wonderful journey. Stay true to yourselves and each other and never forget the love you feel today. Lots of love, Lee, Warren and Cade. Uh, and that's it. If everybody could raise their glasses. Okay. I have the, uh, the honor of proposing a toast to the bridesmaids. I'll hand over to Mr. Hulu. <laughs> Thank you very much. We promise to keep this short and sweet. A little bit like Robbie. <laughs> okay. A few shared notes that I'd like to share, specifically for the bridal couple. Just remember marriage is an institution where two people come together to jointly solve the problems they never had before they got married. Okay, and any married man should forget his mistakes. Because there is no use in two people remembering the same thing. And the next one is not of my own personal opinion, but hey, a man was speaking to God. God, why do you make women so beautiful? He asked. God said, I did that to make you love them. Then the man asked, well, God, why did you make them such good cooks? God said, I did that to make you love them. Then the man asked, but God, why did you make women so stupid? God said, I did that to make them love you. <laughs> so before I get flattened here by all the women tonight, and the people that want to, uh, the, the next people that are coming up that will carry, uh, carry on with Carol's mantra is Dale and Kiara. Thank you. Evening everyone and thank you so much for being here to celebrate Patrick and Carol's special day. Um, I met Carol about six years ago when we were living in Mozambique and we both had little baby girls and we very quickly became each other's sanity. Um, from the moment I met Carol all she ever spoke about was her brother Patrick. Now I knew the Swiss were strange but imagine my surprise when brother Patrick became boyfriend Patrick. <laughs> And Father Patrick, very yeah. <laughs> Carolyn um, is one of the most loving, kind-hearted, generous, and beautiful people I've ever met. We have been through a lot together, and she has always been there for me. I couldn't have chosen a better godmum for my son. I've never seen Carol happier, and Patrick has brought back the twinkle in her eye that has been missing for such a long time. I couldn't ask for a better partner for Patrick. Uh, for Carol. <laughs> and Patrick. Um, and you both deserve the best that life could offer you. My eyes are really struggling, sorry. Thank you for the love you give to Carol and Kiara. And I truly wish you the most amazing future together. I love you both. Now, the one thing that we all know marriage is about is the past being in the past. Um, forsaking all others and pretty much no more funny business. Um, so if there are any more of you out there that still have a key to Patrick's house, can you please return it now? Sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, 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 Any more speeches? Okay. Anyone need to say something? And some of you that, uh, well actually all of you go here should know him. I prepared a few notes. I have a dream, a oh, wrong speech. Think not of what you can, oh my God. You can handle the dream. I give up. The, the good thing about where I am at the moment is that being the last person to speak, I don't have to try and be funny because that's why I got you, Rob. That's why I got you, Grant. So my, my real job here today is to actually acknowledge and to thank everybody in between. So I'm going to start from the top. Welcome. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Stand by. No. You know, it's, it's been a long journey. And a lot of people that uh, you've only met Carol tonight. But if I was to give you a little bit of a background in terms of Carol and I meeting, it started at a bar. Funny, that's always in a bar. <laughs> in Angola, we used to hang out. There was an expat bar, etc. And uh, we'll get back to the entire thing. It was called Docker Oit. And there was only men in this bar. And from time to time, a lady of questionable character <laughs> and then one evening it was a Friday night and all the guys were sitting around and having a drink and the bar just went dead quiet this woman walked up the stairs the first white chick we've seen in ages <laughs> and I looked at this girl and I went oh she's pretty damn good looking but I'm gonna act cool I'm Cape Townian I'm just going to pretend I don't even see her. And we became the best friends. We started little uh, clubs called Desperados. Woo here. Yeah, here. <laughs> and we were the best of friends, and that was the whole thing. And I always had a little soft spot, because I was actually deeply in love with Carol, but she was always shagging other guys, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but we, we, stand by. Did you go to bed alone every night? Yes, I did. <laughs> With Johnny Firefingers. <laughs> and Carol and I, Carol and I just developed a, the most incredible friendship uh, over the years. And we maintained that friendship and we had kids outside of the entire thing. And Together. until 2016, she came over for a visit and told me, you know that I'm getting divorced. And I was like, oh my goodness. And before I start thanking everybody, it, it was to me the most important uh, moment in my life because that's the moment where my best friend and I became more than best friends. You're out of the friend zone. No more sister and brother. <laughs> Jerry Springer said your contract is cancelled. <laughs> And it's been a journey, Carol. I mean, when you walked in today, and you, most people know me as the cynical Gonzalez that I am, but you took my breath away. You took my breath away. And I looked at my best friend, who is now my wife, my lover, my confidant. Don't worry, Carol, we're gonna to get to you in a second. But you, you've, you've actually filled that last hole in my life. And I'm honored, really I'm honored. You're the most kindest, funniest, I mean, you can't even stop giggling in the ceremony. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to like say, yes, I obey and honor. Yes. Look, in a nutshell, I'm not going to take up too much space here, but I do have a lot of thank yous to say. And I'm going to start from the top. I've already patted myself. One, Carol, thank you for making me the happiest man ever. Yeah. Yeah. Secondly, I'm gonna just go and do the formalities. Gary, who's the DJ, I've just gotta give him a few drinks and he's just gonna play some great yeah. music. Spiro for hosting this whole thing. I've told you to take the Greek flag down and put a Swiss flag on there, but 
But more importantly, every single person in this room, when we were discussing about how we were going to do our wedding, who do we invite? And I could have invited thousands. But what's in this room and whoever's in this room, you all have had an impact on me and in Carol indirectly because she's only just become part of the, the crew. But our relationship is deep and foremost and mom, I'm going to start with you because if I don't, you I know that I'm out of the you. inheritance and I need that money. <laughs> mom, I love you. Never forget that. <laughs> But I want to thank certain people in certain ways, and just please bear with me because... Okay, just keep going. Just bear with me, Suzanne. <laughs> Robbie Stammers, Grant Holloway, George Sharp, Corianne, George and Corianne that, did the, that made this place look respectable. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Robbie and Grant for being like my mates for 30 odd years that could take a brief with two days to go before the wedding that we've got this. I love your work. I love your work. People that have traveled far and wide. Yo, you're corn fed. Elena, my original sister from Angola. We love the fact that you did this journey just for this day. Yeah, yeah. The flutes. Yeah. I want the flutes. You all just go, yeah. 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 You came all the way from Joburg to be here. Grant Holloway. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. I have a, I have a special, I have a special mention for you. No, Grant. No, Grant was like this whole thing. Will you just like tell me, am I MC or am I best man? <laughs> Dude, oh, this is awkward. You, you, pull, you pull that off down to a T. Pepe and Ray, I, you have no idea how important it is to me and like how much I love you guys. And for allowing me to build a bomb shelter in your house <laughs> over the last week. Because every single moment I wake up and I go, then sooner or later, Ray's gonna like just bop me in the head. <laughs> Clean up this nonsense. <laughs> yes, I am. Right, uh, I, I could name you all by far. Dave O'Connor, who's in the back, my cousin. I would have not met my wife without you. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you as well, Adida. You had to like nurture me through my first breakup and you know what the whole thing was. Matthew, you my for, oldest boy. You paid for my ticket. What can well, I do? Well, no, actually, <laughs> actually, grandma. <laughs> Whatever. Look, my, my speech has just gone to complete it. Patrick, <laughs> in the background there. Kenny, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Thank you very much for what you did in such a short space of time. Where, where, who am I missing, Robbie? Patrick, Ariel, Kiara. Yes, my best man. No, Dale. Uh, where's Dale? Uh, oh, she's the golden eye, Dale, who came from all the way from London. But we used to have a bit of a party at your old golf estate before you went back to the, the grey area. But I want to say one special thing. And I'm going to leave it at Kiara. I've like adopted a beautiful little daughter. And I loved what you said earlier. It was beautiful. Your shoes should have never been put on before four o'clock, but you are just you and you are. <laughs> and all I just want to say is that I'm happy to be part of your family. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys? <laughs> I just want to say thank you. I mean, I might have missed a whole lot of people. Yeah. I just want to keep it simple. Patrick? It's Ariel's birthday today. Oh, shit, that's the always. problem. <laughs> Ari, come here. Listen to your mother. Come here. Oh, Did you not? Happy birthday. 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 The coolest guy in the entire Western Cape. Hey. 
Yeah. Chicks fall over. Yes. And, <laughs> you understand? I'm still taller than you. Only because you understand. Yes. <laughs> but Ari is his birthday. It's my nephew. I love him to death. Thanks for being here. So now let's all go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ari. Happy birthday to you. Listen, thank you all for being here, and there's one rule. Can we eat now? <laughs> wow, well, look, look at who just woke up. <laughs> the, there's only one rule after the ceremonies are finished. I'm going to put down the microphone. Don't make me cry again, sister. Because you know that you are my girl. But please, let's all just have some fun. It's nothing fancy, nothing. I mean, like, look at it. He wore a tweed jacket. <laughs> oh, we have to charge a glass. Thank you very much for the reminder because I threw all my notes away. Okay. Please, can we all raise a glass to my beautiful wife, yeah. Carol? I love you, and you know how much I love you. And thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you for all being here. It really means a lot. And anybody that I missed in the thank yous, trust me, I thank you from here. Amen. 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 I found a love for me. Darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give
Whoa! 